All right, Mara, let's move down river to what's been a nightmare for decades. Now a new plan to ease chronic traffic delays at an infamous rail crossing in Woodhaven has come up. Victor Williams has a look at the project announced today that will finally provide some relief for drivers. Well, it's been a long time coming for the long trains that usually sit here blocking traffic on Allen Road in Woodhaven. But now there's finally a resolution on the table that will allow drivers to pass by by simply driving underneath. It seems like every time you want to go somewhere, you can't get out of Trenton because of the train. Multiple times a day, especially on the weekends. For over a decade, drivers like Vera and Chuck Sinnott in Woodhaven have been complaining about trains blocking traffic, in some cases for hours. Sometimes the trains are excessively long and they'll even be a stop up at Fort Street, so it really ties the traffic up in this area bad. Fire trucks and other first responders have even had issues coming to the aid of those in need. When an ambulance comes to your house, they don't send one ambulance, they send two, so that they can actually take different routes because they have been tied up at the tracks on Wow. over the years. Drivers, however, will now be able to find their way around these trains thanks to a new $39 million project. It'll be an underpass. The bridge itself will be for the, the train, and then the cars will go underneath it. State Rep Darren Calamari says the underpass will do more than alleviate some of the stress drivers are feeling, but will also make other parts of the area easier to deal with. It's going to open up economic opportunity and also make sure that we have public safety be the number one priority for our residents. And we're told that officials are hoping to break ground by the end of the year starting that construction. So we are reporting live tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4. Any word yet here, Victor, on how long this construction is going to take? It's going to take a little bit of time, yeah. two to three years, but that's going to be nothing compared to the, I guess, time spent that those people had to wait there waiting for that train. Oh, I imagine some of them feel like they waited two or three years uh, per train. All right, Victor. <laughs>